welcome back to my channel. My name is Sito. In today's video, we're going to make a basic body. This is what a basic body block looks like. If you don't already have one that you can use to make all your outfits, then you definitely have to watch this video. Today, we're going to make a basic body block without darts. So it's called a dartless body block. And it helps us make t-shirts, shirts, jackets. That's going to come up. Um, simple A-line skirts, simple, I mean, A-line dresses, simple dresses, simple whatever. <laughs> we can make lots of stuff. What we need is our basic dartless bodice block. So this is not a fitted bodice block, but this is a dartless bodice block. But if you haven't already, I would appreciate if you'd subscribe to my channel right below. And if you hit the bell notification button, you get notified every time I post a video. And I usually post a video every Monday. So keep an eye out for that. And yeah, give it a thumbs up if you, if you like this video, because it really helps me reach more people. Without wasting any more time, let's get on with the video. For this project, you will need a large piece of paper. So I use whatever I had lying around, join them together to get my piece of paper. Basically, you will need a paper big enough to go around your front body. The basic supplies you will need a pencil, a sharpie, a ruler, a measuring tape, scissors and a phone to do some calculations. So we'll start by making a rectangle from A to B should be your shoulder to your waistline. So whatever it is, your shoulder to your waistline, draw point A, go down all the way to point B. And then we will mark point C from B, which is half your bust circumference plus 2 centimeters for ease. Next, we will mark D, which is from C, the distance of your back neck to your waistline or the back the nape of your neck to your waistline so line c to d is not exactly the same length as a to b it's usually a bit shorter and then cut off the excess paper so it's easier for us to work in this um, unfinished triangle find the center of b to c and draw a perpendicular line up and label this as your side line. You could also just fold the paper in half and then draw a perpendicular line up and label it as your side line. The side line will be marked E to F and then just draw a perpendicular line from F to A just to join that to make it a nice rectangle. And then label center front on AB, the side line as E to F and the back line um, or back, center back from C to D. Now find the center of C to D and mark it as H. This will be your bust line. Draw a straight line from H, join it to the AB and mark that point as I. Also, while you're at it, mark the front and back body pieces clearly. Now we're going to draw a line D to G which is half your shoulder width plus 1 cm. Connect G to the bust line below and label that as H1. Now we need to mark I1 from H1. So this would be Take your distance of H to I or 
B to C really, divide that by 5 and plus 1.5 centimeters, and then draw that from H1 and draw a perpendicular line up, measure D to H, divide that by 3 and mark point L one third from H and draw a straight line across which will be labelled as your shoulder line. Mark point O 1.5 cm from G for the shoulder slope. Mark N from D which is at 1 fourth your shoulder width minus 2 cm and then go up 2.5 cm above N, mark that as P and connect P to D. And now draw your shoulder line which is half your shoulder width minus distance P to D. Make sure that this line goes from P to O. Finish off the back collar curve with a French curve ruler or just freehand it. And then draw the arm side or arm hole slowly point to point while pivoting your curve ruler. Label that. And now from the front collar which is point A, Measure one fifth your shoulder width from point A and draw a circle or one fourth of a circle which will be your front collar. And then mark five centimeters down from J1 and draw the shoulder slope. Make sure your shoulder length is the same as the back shoulder length. And finish off with drawing your arm side, just as you did for the back arm side. After cutting the body's pieces out, make sure that the side seams and the top shoulder length is the same for both your front and back pieces. Make any adjustments as necessary. Cutting your pet pattern on the muslin, make sure to leave 1cm of seam allowance on the shoulder seam and your side seam. Cut them out and put the front body's pieces right side facing the wrong, the back body's piece and sew at the shoulder seam and the side seams. I did not show sew all the way through the shoulder seams just because I wanted my head to go through the neck. So as you can see, changes will need to be made. Here, my main changes would be around the arm side or armhole and of course the neck because yeah, it's pretty high up there. So I'll bring it down, mark any changes that you need as per your comfort. And then once you finish marking and you're happy with it, you'll need to open this back up, mark the changes, cut it up and sew it back up to get the final you know, like however you're comfortable with it. But make sure that you do not skip this step and take your time to do this because this is what makes a perfect bodice piece. So as you can see, it's pulling a bit from the arm. And if I just cut the arm just a tiny bit, making sure that the back and front shoulder line has to meet, you know, at the same point. Um, and I think this would... Um, kind of release some of the tension here. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes with the second try. After I marked the changes on my muslin cloth and cut up the pieces, I also marked these same markings on my paper pattern but I will not at this point cut anything from the paper pattern just in case if I need to make any more changes, you know, I don't want to be cutting up the paper because that is the one that we're going to keep. The paper will be our main body sloper.
So this is me trying it on for the second time. The only change I think I might do is I might add up, not I might, I will add up a little bit more at the arm side because I've taken off a bit too much. So I'm going to add a little bit more at the arm side, both for the front and back. And otherwise, overall, I'm happy with the neck. I don't think I'll add up any more there. I'm happy with the side seams and I'm happy with how, you know, I'm still able to move my arms around and it fits really nicely. That's it guys, I really hope you understood this video and enjoyed this video and learned a lot from it and I hope you make your body A Couple of things before I let you go is that once you've made your body block and you're happy with it, you need to cut out perfect body block and then you need to paste it onto a manila cut or transfer the pattern onto a manila cut so you can keep it for long. Manila cut is basically a harder piece of paper. I do not have a manila cut on hand and because I'm very big on recycling, I just pasted my body block onto some old x-ray films of my husband's yeah i'm pretty sure he doesn't need it anyways thank you so much for watching guys i really appreciate every single one of you if not for you i will not be here today i know i say this all the time but really really i truly appreciate you being here if you haven't already please subscribe hit the bell notification button give me a thumbs up and i will see you again next week sayonara Mwah. love you bye